Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Good morning vlogsters, grab your coffee. You ready for the first step? Okay. Oh. It's a little chilly this morning, so it's nice to have a nice hot, hot cup of coffee. Hi, I missed you. Um, I've been making some, doing some things around here and I honestly feel like so many of you are so sweet and they're like, just share whatever, it's fine, we love everything. And I'm like, I don't feel inspiring, so I don't feel like sharing. I'm, I think we mentioned this before, good morning. I think we've mentioned before that having a YouTube channel or being a creator is work. I mean, it's not just like Doug doing the crafts and doing the cleaning because a lot of people do that at home too. It's the editing and uploading and comment answering and uh, thumbnail making and interaction, all the stuff that happens um, as well. Um, the reason I'm mentioning that this morning is because that has been the part that's really been holding me back. I've been filming and sharing. I just haven't been wanting to, not sharing, I've been filming to share, but I'm just not wanting to share because um, just all the, the stuff that comes to follow. Um, those of you who care about me it makes me feel so blessed which is why I like, I like to come on here and vlog. I try to do it every Monday at least, uh, but you know, it's it was a, a crazy day Monday. Monday, a lot of things happened that, that didn't happen that were supposed to happen, but um, that's okay. Cause then we roll with the punches. Uh, just keep on keeping on whatever we have to say to ourselves. So, um, so Monday we did a lot uh, around the house. I finally was able to purge my florals. They look like this. Mind that you're gonna see some Christmas florals in the camera shot. I think you can see them up there, right? Um, I was able to give some away, organize them. It's a, I think it was a problem because I have like one basket of greens and fillers, one basket of just white, one two baskets of autumn and then everything else is in one basket so like spring christmas well right now christmas is out i had jim leave christmas out i don't know if you can see a little silver bucket with the uh, christmas picks in it and then around the um here around the monopod is all the like long christmas things and i said you just leave them out for now because if they're by me i'm i'm more inspired that's why i keep the totes uh, things in totes and then I bring them forward and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I have so much ambition and no motivation. It's a really, really tricky spot in, that I've never been in before. It's, um, it's very, I wanna say disheartening isn't the right word, but it really is the only word that comes to mind. Um, like I said, I want to be encouraging, but it's hard to be encouraging when you're not encouraged, if that makes any sense. I hope it does because it's, it's, it's how I can put it in words. Like, I guess I, I feel, I feel like I, I want to encourage you to do what's passionate to you or do to try things that are different and I want to have a beautiful home for Christmas and I want to have the Christmas spirit in my house I I just am not motivated to get it done I did mention in the previous vlog that a hundred percent of my energy is going to maintaining my body and my health which, uh, you know, I watch a lot of 
uh, not a lot. I watch a few YouTubers that suffer with health issues, but most of the ones that I watch have help. Uh, and not that Jim doesn't help me. Um, Jim helps me greatly. He just doesn't help me with my channel. Um, he, if you've ever watched his videos, he doesn't really care to edit. Uh, he doesn't really want to learn how to do it, he says even. So it's hard um, to try to ask him to do it for me. It would be like extra. I'm going to stop you for a second. I am uh, out of my regular nose spray and we're just using like the cheap stuff that's 12 hours. And um, basically we take it at night, like hour or two before bed and then when we first wake up in the morning. Um, so anyway, um, if he could, like if I had somebody who knew the editing process and the upload process, and I guess he knows the upload process, but the editing process and that kind of thing, it would be, it would be so great to, um, to work with somebody that had like that and I could just make the content and then have somebody do the, the business side of it. Um, because I, I, I have to be honest, I, I don't have the energy and I'm not just physical energy because I'm, my stamina is actually coming back up a little bit, uh, from where it was a month ago, even it's really the, it, it's, it's really the spiritual energy and that's not even correct anymore either. Cause I feel like my spiritual energy has come up. It's, it's just the mental, like my brain gets in its own way. Uh, more often than not, and um, it's not good. <clears throat> Part of where I'm stuck is, is that when I'm done with all these DIYs, what am I going to do with them type of thing, and I know that I'm running out of storage space, and I only give away so much type of thing, and I've mentioned it before about living with a smoker. It's really it, it really impedes the things that I can do and sell or things that I can do and even gift to certain people. Um, it's crazy. When I go to someone's house who doesn't smoke, I can wash my pillow before I put it in the van and wash my pillow when I get to a person's house. And it's still like you put your head in the pillow at night and you just smell the smoke. And it's funny because when you're home in it and it's all around you, you don't notice it. <clears throat> it's only when you get to an environment where there's no smoke or there hasn't been any where you put your head down you're like oh no that's oof, can't do that so mm. coffee's nice this morning this is the first cup of the dollar tree donut chop that i've tried it's kind of mild i like it i like mild coffee um i did some improvements around here i hope to share some cleaning videos with you guys because I've just been trying and punching at it and purging and trying to make this space I really want to make my space just really productive I want to use my cricket more I really enjoyed it for my party in fact Jimmy came to me and he's like all of these masks he wanted to buy that had all these Nordic things on them. And I was like, if we could just clean my office and I can make stuff on the cricket, I can make you all of those things. If I could access my sewing machine easier and such and such. I don't know. I he's like you have too much stuff and i'm like well i just don't think that i have a big enough space for all the things that i do now granted i am not doing anything with these things i have a little bit of a problem where i'm afraid to use certain items that i like my unicorns like 
some unicorns I want to use like right away. Some I'm just like dying to get a like black and white buffalo check ribbon. Two inch wide rough wired edge buffalo check ribbon when it came out. It would be like, oh my gosh, I was waiting for this for so long. Let me just do something with it. But some things you're like, oh, you know, I don't know what I want to do with that just yet. Or I am not a person and I love the women who can do it. I am not a person who can make something and take it apart. I'm not. Uh, I wish I was. That would save so much trouble. It would save so much heartache. I just, I, I can't do it. It's hard. It is hard. I think I have. I haven't really ever done it for the sake of like Frankensteining my, you know, like taking parts for other, other DIYs. I will tell you that items have fallen apart on me and I have disassembled them, that's different. To me, that's different anyway. Um, I will save parts if the parts are still usable or whatever, like um, we wrapped candy canes, the yard candy canes in burlap uh, a few years ago and they were hung in inside as decor, but the last two years we hung them outside as decor and they've, the weather hasn't been kind to them. Um, we still probably get another couple of years out of them but um, those I think eventually will probably go back down to the original plastic candy cans and maybe be rewrapped or redone or whatever. Haven't decided yet. <clears throat> but just to give you an idea. I um, don't think this vlog is gonna be very long today because I feel semi-motivated. <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> I have a, a project that's been halfway done for two and a half weeks now, and I feel like it's even more than that. It's embarrassing at this point. It is, and I'm sorry about it. I really don't mean to. keep you guys hanging on it's just really difficult it's just I'm having such I do have an appointment with my doctor in two and a half weeks Thursday two weeks after Thursday I'm gonna talk to her about this um, problem that I'm having um, and hopefully can get some kind of help because it's just it's just taking everything in me just to get through the next day like I said caring for my body caring for my family caring for my home I don't even get all three of those done in a day So I wanted this to be an inspirational, motivational video <laughs> where I could just say like, look, it's bad because this is what's gotten me to do those three things in the past two, three months is just do it. Just suck it down and do it anyway. Um, I will tell you, I'm not happy with the quality of my content. Um, I don't like the fact that I don't look or sound uh, cheery and inspirational. Um, but uh, what I did notice, and this is where the inspiration was going to come from. So what I had noticed is I was getting up. I wasn't getting dressed unless I was going somewhere, but I was getting up. I was washing my face. Well, splashing water on my face because I don't wash my face. Uh, brushing my hair. 
and going about and doing something. Cook, meal plan, clean, dishwasher, sweep, whatever it is, I've just been doing it. And what I eventually notice is there are moments and they're becoming more and more frequent where you do have the sense of self satisfaction in a job well done that motivates you to keep going and do more and it makes you feel more positive so i know that this journey of healing will take more time than it ever has before i'm noticing that well it has already um i am hopeful that i will heal that's another thing that's different than when this all first happened is I am hopeful for a future that is as productive as the past was. I don't know exactly what that looks like or when it kicks in or whatever, but I'm just doing it, so. I once again want to tell you guys how much I appreciate you, and I love you, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you that takes the 15 to one hour minutes out of your day to spend with me, drinking coffee, catching up on things, um, my Thanksgiving was quiet. It was just the three of us. I ended up making a turkey breast, which was supposed to be free turkey meal for my bada, and I didn't get any of that money back. I have a claim in, like you do this help desk and then you put in a claim. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I read the instructions three times and it did not say you had to buy everything because on grocery pickup, that's not a guaranteed possibility. And you can't say like, if I don't have all my items, I don't want any of my items because they'll only ask you if you want to not have substitution. So I could have returned everything. But I mean, even whatever, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, the, the turkey was really good. I made it in the Instant Pot and then finished it in the broiler so it can crisp up the skin. Then in the Instant Pot, I was able to make the gravy um, I'm making great. I'm making keto gravy by using allulose, which is a really good way of thickening uh, without adding carbs, which I love. It works a lot like a cornstarch slurry, where you add it at the end of the dish, as opposed to like a roux, which is flour and fat that you make in the beginning of the dish. Um, so it really, it really has been really great. Uh, we're finished the leftovers. Well, today's Wednesday, so I'm grateful that we're finished the leftovers. Actually, I think they have some mashed potatoes left over. Um, but the leftovers are all done, which is great. Um, so I hate throwing out food. It's like, I'm not trying to be like, ooh, I'm a fat person and I hate throwing out food. That was obvious. But I'm like, I seriously, from, from being poor as we were growing up, I hate wasting food. It's like... I'm so, yeah, makes, it makes me feel like people are ungrateful for all the work you did to put into, you know, cooking. And now I know how my father used to feel at t from times where, um, when times were hard, sometimes it was like pasta every day because he would make a big batch on Sunday and maybe would have two or three other meals during the week, but it was just like, Tonight we're gonna have leftover pasta. And two days later we're gonna have leftover pasta and three days after that we're gonna have leftover pasta. So sometimes it can get like a, but I also took the pasta for lunch and I've had pasta five days or whatever. But you know, it's what you do what you gotta do. You gotta eat, you know. But I know my dad, uh, I remember my dad having like that struggle, that same struggle like, oh, you know, I worked so hard and you, you know, put food on the table and you guys don't appreciate it and don't eat it. So, I, I don't like that and I never wanted to be that way um, here. 
So it is what it is. Um, I was contemplating telling some like Rob stories, but what I've come to realize, and I think that the stage of grief that I'm in now, and I don't know the state, I don't know all the stages of grief. I just know there are. But the thing that I realized is that not having any type of relationship with my brother over the course of the last seven years, well, from the time he, at the time he passed, it was like seven and a fourth a year, um, has really made me realize that I'm not really sure who he was anymore. Like you could know somebody you could know somebody for 31 years and not know them for seven and they become a different person or a different person to you or a different person in general. I have a different life. Like he was with his girlfriend for a long time and I left right when they first moved in together and they were only dating for a while and they were together a really long time and I like lost uh, all of that. Like I have no concept. We talked a little bit in the beginning about their relationship. He asked me for some advice, um, like relationship advice or whatever. But other than that, you know, I don't even know how it ended or why it ended or, I, you know, thanks to social media, I was able to see where they traveled. I was so grateful to realize that he was able to go to Europe Obviously, I would have loved for him to do much, much more in his life, but, um, but I realized I don't know that man. Like, I was very grateful. My sister-in-law made ornaments, or she made me an ornament. I'm assuming she made them for everybody, where she put pictures of him on the front and pictures of him on the back, and just, like, memorial, like, a rest in peace and a, and a date, and... I'm grateful that she put the pictures on one side that are pictures that are I all, I know him. Like those pictures, that's when I knew him. The pictures on the back are, man, I don't, I don't know. That part makes me both very sad and I don't know. I don't want to say kind of. However. <laughs> you know, it just makes me feel however. Um, I think I mourn not only the potential loss, but the opportunity for reconciliation is very, very hard to get over. Because this whole time, I just felt in my heart that all I had to do was to show up at his door. And for one reason or another, I had a free ticket to fly home in 2016 for my cousin's wedding, but I couldn't afford to stay anywhere. Um, and uh, nobody had a place for me to stay. Um, so, um, I didn't go. And then of course, it's not like a broken record, but you know, coronavirus messed with a lot of people and was going to go back in June and that didn't happen. So just things like, you know, I'm not really sure until my brother passed away if my sisters realized how serious it was because I guess they thought I was just being, I was just exaggerating to the extent of, of how bad it was. But I'm glad they, I'm, I hope they understand now. And not that it makes a difference. 
this point it's moved anyway but but anyhow um boy this came down this was supposed to be a motivational speaker how to get past mental blocks um, so I came in here the other day and I just went and I'm like, I'm just going to do things and I'll do things and I'm not going to make rhyme or reason and they're not in the order into which I will used to want to do things because in the past I would do things strategically and I would do things planned out and I would do things segment, segment, like I won't go through that box until I have a place that I know that I can put the things when I'm done. But at this point, I'm just like, grab the box. Even if we just organize the box, so it's not like blowing out type of thing um we did a a thing over here which you'll see I've got new totes but then i have some containers that i just still are like in limbo of like what am i gonna do with those things and this thing and what am i gonna do with that thing kind of thing so but these are really cute you know i bought these from the dollar tree to wrap pumpkins in but i have to tell you it's a super cute like Oh, let me not cover the microphone. It's a super cute headband. It almost reminds me, I guess I have to cover the microphone. <laughs> Shh. It almost reminds me of like those hats that they have with people with the ponytails that stick out. You know, like those pony hats. Um, but I'm gonna cover this for a second. So, oh my God, it's so super cute. So it covers your ears and stuff. And it's like this little cable net type uh, um, knitted thing. It's nice. It's cute. I like it. Um, I had my desk cleaned off 90% <coughs> of the way. I had the cubby fixed up. I fixed these shelves up. Um, I have all that taped so I could share most of it with you hopefully to give you some motivation i wanted my vlogmas to start yesterday and i just you know thank you Thank you for encouraging me to do more. Thank you for accepting me for not. And thank you for pushing me to do better. I love you. I do. And I know that that sounds cheesy to some people. How do you love people that you never met? It's very easy. I was called to love. That's what we were all called to do. And I, I feel like the world should be love everyone. Even if they do you wrong. But for those people who feel like that's too... Fluddy duddy. <laughs> Fluddy duddy. What the heck, what the heck is that? Uh, for people who think that that's too frou frou, um, at least love everybody until they do you wrong or prove you shouldn't to you anyway. But for me, it's just love everybody. It's easier. Love is easier than hate. Just like telling the truth is easier than lying. You don't have to remember so much. Um,. Yeah, love is just easier than hate. It's a lot of energy that goes into hate. It's just easier for me to love you all. Even the negative comment people, I'll block your negative comment or I'll remove you from making more negative comments on the channel, but I still love you. <laughs> um, in fact, when it, and that this is not to sound righteous in any way and I hope it doesn't come out that way but one of the things that I do when I see somebody lashing out on a comment is I instantaneously feel sorry for them 
I instantaneously, I don't want to say pity isn't the right word, but pity is the word. There's got to be another word for pity because I feel like what happened to you? Who damaged you? Who hurt you? That you feel like you need to lash out at somebody who you have a glimpse of into their lives every day. Like, I feel so bad. Um, I want to continue to work here. I don't know what has to change. My eyesight is improving, but it is still really difficult to answer comments. I have to do them at the computer. It is really wicked hard for me to sit at that chair for very long. This chair getting out of that room is so impossible. This getting it out of this room and going into where the computer is is impossible. Um, the laptop doesn't work anymore. I just uh, so the comments on my uh, on my phone and my tablet you can't really zoom in on them uh, to answer them and make them bigger. That's the part that I'm having difficulty with. What I end up having is like a hundred screenshots. <laughs> I take a screenshot and I blow the screenshot up and then I delete the screenshot and then it fills up my delete fold, deleted folder like crazy. Um, so that's what I end up doing, but it's very difficult. It's time consuming. I want to be able to interact with everybody. I want to be able to answer the questions that I'm always telling you, leave questions in the comments if you have any. Um, but it's just, just really difficult it really is and it has been for some time it's why I seeked out help last year I seeked out help last year somebody gave me advice never tell anybody if somebody's doing your comments for you but I always said I've been an open book since day one and I know that there are huge creators out there that have assistance and I'm not trying to compare myself as a huge creator but I Doing videos daily was getting the volume of comments in a month that the huge creators were getting in the same time frame because they're only doing videos once a week. So basically what I'm saying is one week you get, say a, a, a regular creator gets 2,000 comments on their video once a week is 4,000 a month and I get 800 comments per video uh, over the course of 30 days is like 24,000 comments. So it's like, a you know, 20, that's right. 80, yeah, that's right. Yeah, like 800, yeah. So eight, 800, 8,000 times three, yeah, 24,000. So just to give you an idea of why it's difficult. And I want the, I want the engagement. I don't want you guys to not talk to me it's just so difficult to do. I, I, I am definitely, when I start getting into a regular schedule back to DIYing and sharing my life, I will not be doing daily videos anymore, which I'm so sad about. I do miss it. I thought about doing three days on there and then the other four days on here. So I was still working for seven days, but it's a lot. It was a lot. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to do. Um, so we'll see. I don't know what the future will hold for us, but I am hopeful for it. So that's what's the really important part. And the real big message that I want to share with you guys is I have hope again. Um, I see the light. Sometimes the light is very dim and seems very far away. And it's not the kind of thing we can just ask Alexa to make the light brighter. <laughs> I have hope for being the new me, because I don't want to say being myself again. I want to, I want to be a better version of me and I have hope for it. So I love you guys. I really do. Um, and as always, you guys take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.